What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another draft. Thraxos aren't expensive anymore, so that's actually probably good. That's my point. That's why it was insane. Oh, yeah. That was like an insane, like, wow, I can't believe they went, oh, volca four volcanic. Okay, so if you guys weren't here for the oh. last video or draft, I have a bunch of emails from 20... Back in 2013, I sold all of my legacy collection, which is included, like, dual lands. All, all the playable Literally stuff, all basically. <laughs> and um, I sold it in 2013 because I needed to buy a car, so I bought a car with that money. I still drive the car to this day. I still have it. It's a Prius. And um, so we're going Oko, through the, the emails. Way. What? It's definitely Oko, by the way. Card is bananas. It's 100% Oko. They've never printed a more powerful magic card than... <laughs> and, and Planeswalker, sorry. Planeswalker. And um, yeah, so we're going through these emails and trying to figure out what I what I sold these for. So we're on four volcanic Well, before islands. you click, I want to know what volcanics are worth right now. Just to, so we can get the full burn okay. effect. Because those are like... It's, it's always between that and Trout, which one's the most expensive. Well, no, C is always the most expensive because, yeah. But. I see, Michael. <laughs> yeah, do your little bid. How can you outbid that? It's such a nice price, you know? You just got to give up. Well, that's the that's the, the opening bid, so hopefully I just... It's um, a pretty high opening bid. Okay, revised. Okay, we took this guy. What are we taking here? What condition were yours? Lightly played. Yeah, everything, yeah. So we'll It was back then, everything was pretty much lightly played. Yeah, okay. you seem to keep your card. So, lightly played on TCG Player, the lowest is four five seventy five. What, what land are we taking here? Hold on, let's figure this out before our time runs out. What about Pester Mite? I like a Teamer deck. I'll take a Pester Mite. Or we can play Resto. Let's take Resto and try to be a Bant deck. Or we can just take Pester Mite. I like that. Yeah, better. take Pester Mite. Oh, then you and get Kiki Jiki. Get but order. also Treachery. No, you take the card that wins. So five seventy five, which would be that'd be like twenty three hundred. Right. $2,300. What did I sell them for in 2013? <laughs> 600 bucks. I'm going 600. Uh, your inv oh, this is my invoice. Oh, is you buying them? What? Oh, oh my God. Four undergrounds. Oh, I paid 380 though for all four. So that's interesting. So this is you buying Wait, them? No. Oh, no. This is, this goes to the buyer. This was my invoice for them. The four volcanics sold for three eighty. Four underground seas that I had sold for four sixty five. So in total, oh. my, this this buyer got four volcanics, four underground, and four personal tutors from. Which Portal is also not a cheap card anymore. For nine twenty six. I think I take treachery. I think Kiki Jiki might come back. Uh, oh, I like wait. cryptic command here. I just now I just want to be this this blue deck. He don't like winning. I understand. Drawing cards is well, cool. Well, it's triple red, right? And like... Right, but like it's literally pick two, so it's totally fine. Pick two? What do we have, Panera, bro? You could just be... You just be blue, red, splashing green for Oko. But it's done now. What's underground sea worth? What's let's, your let's face see. worth? Millions of dollars. Gotti. Millions. <sighs> Maybe it's just an ancient tomb. But it doesn't cast this or this, which makes me. I think I'm just. I think I just want Wall of Roots here. It protects Oko. Oh, I gotta leave, guys. I'm sorry. I, I can't be a part of this. What? Anymore. What would you have taken? Ancient Doom? This is a crime against humanity. Yeah, I'm gonna take Taiga here because if we get that Kiki Jiki back. Yeah, at least you can make up for one of your mistakes. Wow. All right, let's do it. I like think they count on like, are you making a bad decision? <laughs> you just gotta know, bro. Oh, you're trying to. Oh, oof, this is the juicy part. <laughs> All right, boo. Let's see. Let's see if it's happening. Um, frosty tea. Natural order is a thing. You win. Yep. We should maybe explain what just happened to the people. <laughs> oh, I just bid on a, a Mox Emerald Collector's Edition because it's the last one I need for my cube. Nice. I kind of think it might be Frost Titan here, to be quite honest. No, we're not a natural order deck. Not yet. No, I'm taking Frosty T. I want to be heavier blue, so. Sower of Temptation? Sure. Also, for those of you who don't know, Collector's Editions are actually expensive now.
Oh, we can't wheel Kiki. There was an Exarch in the first pack with Oko. Yeah, it's not coming back then. Good call. Nerd. Got him. Um, this could be a Toski deck with Pestermite. Yeah, we can take Toski here, sure. Uh, Emrakul, okay. Yeah, it's like a Lotus Petal. It's unexciting, but... I mean, if you have a serious collection, the only reason I would consider selling it is to literally purchase a house. That is a good, that's a good thing. These houses do appreciate value. I mean, I also needed a car and I, I think that was also a vital, I mean, like, yeah. I'm not living in like New York or somewhere with good public transportation. Like I needed a car. So yeah, I, I, I don't, I, it sucks that I had to sell. Like the thing is whenever you House sell vehicle, your cards, sure. that's cool. you're, you're typically selling them at the highest point they're going to be. So if you needed money at that point, you need money at that point. Right. right? And like, that's the way I have to look at it. Like I feel sometimes I feel bad. I'm like, man, I wish I held on to this comic book because you know, in the next couple of years it doubled or whatever, but like, that's always going to be true though. Right. That's what I mean. Like there's no point in time. It'll never stop doing that theoretically. Right. So like in that case, there's no good time to sell this thing. Right. So at that point, it's not an investment. It's just a thing you own. That's never going to provide any value to you. It's like bonds, you know? James Bonds? Yeah, I fucking knew he was gonna do. <laughs> it's like I was like, I'm just waiting. Any seconds. Like, like, let him, let it click. I'm gonna take this snappy boy because this feels like a snappy boy deck. The only stuff with magic cards is if they're not on the reserve list, then they can move around. Like a good misty. It also gets Taiga if we need that to happen. But even non-reserve list stuff, if they're playable, they just still tend to go up. Remember when I realized you could green something in for that guy? Oh yeah. Papa remembers. Also, for some reason, I like, had this weird thing where I like, don't like Planeswalkers in Commander because they're generally kind of bad because all your opponents can attack them. And then I played with Oko for one game. Them. And let me tell you, card is bananas, <laughs> even in Commander. Uh, cool Commander. Be a lot better if it was an Elk. I, I feel like this would be fine, but we don't have anything red yet. Yeah, but like it's just a dork. Right. But I want to be able to cast blue things. Like, I, I'm way heavier blue right now, and I don't really want to have a, a turn one green drop that doesn't produce blue. You could take Savannah. I was kind of thinking just taking either Garrick or Grist and, like, building around Grist a little bit. So I'm going to do that because I don't like you. Oh, see, Jace is, Jace is the boy. Oh. 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 I would take Code of Bounty, but, I mean, like, it just didn't do anything for us last time. So I'm going to take this Jace. It will never be forgiven. Oh, Tropical Island? Beautiful. Oh, that's a good one. And we got a Misty already. That's a... This pack looks pretty sweet, actually. Bitter Blossom. I like Vraska with Oko a lot. Like, you make the food token, you sack it to draw a card and gain a life. I actually think I'm going to take that. That's a, It's a sweet interaction that I'm a big fan of. Lumbering Falls is great. We want as many lands to produce blue as possible, so we're not bottlenecked on Cryptic Command. MG, Echo MTG lists my library of Alexander for 8K. See, that's just not correct. If it's graded, otherwise there's no way. What if Foothills is great? That gets Misty and Taiga. Yeah, I don't know why you're using Echo MTG, but like it's not an accurate representation. Though. Yeah, I feel like it's very misleading. I would just, I mean, just use TCG Player. Oh, because you can enter. You can have, there's a collection tracker in TCG Player. Yeah, there's definitely other ways to do that. I kind of like Rex Sage, but I think I want the foothills here just to keep myself open. Well, that's a good question. What's your favorite standard deck of all time? That's a tough question, though. I don't know. I know it definitely happened during Lorwyn block stand. Lor not Lorwyn block, but Lorwyn standard. That was a, that set was like Super Brewers Paradise. Yes, like you had like Kithkin, you had black, white, black, blue fairies, you had five color control. I played this like Merfolk deck that had Chameleon Colossus in it. That was real sweet. I guess I'm just taking Plowander. We have Snappy Boy. Seagate Stormcaller could also be fine. I'll take the Stormy Boy, I guess. Oh, Maelstrom Pulse is nice if we got, oh, we also have Grist here too. So yeah, let's just, let's just embrace our Sultai roots, I guess. It's got to be Eldrazi Winter. Well, that would be a good guess because it, Won a bunch of money. Oh, uh, that was not standard. That was modern. Oh, good point. So, no, that was not my favorite standard format. But yes, I do have a soft spot for that. Also, you could like. Oh man, I gotta buy one of those still, even though I don't need it. Because it looks cool. You right? know these expressive iterations? These promos are like ten bucks. 
Really? Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Like the promo version. That's I like mean, it's the, a good card. The, for bl- sure. the blue and red uh, text box. Yeah, it looks cool. So I understand. Um, I don't think we're going to have an efficient way to get this guy out. I'll just take Garuki. Yeah, I mean, Callblade was way stronger than like every other deck. I actually remember when for the very short amount of time before they banned Jace and Splinter Twin was the same format and there was Callblade Splinter Twin, that deck was real good. I'm going to try this guy. Again, it could just be... Oh, yeah, that's good. All right, so our, our two, three, and four drops looking pretty pretty packed here. We also have a deranged tournament if we just want a deranged tournament in the deck with Toski. I feel like it should be a combo where you just like make a bunch of squirrels, attack, draw some cards. <sighs> Take a stupid shallow grave because I'm more scared of that than the problem with the call blade is like it just made it made the format to uh what's it called? Homogenous. Like, yes. The like where they're for. all like everyone's trying to fight the thing or a version of the thing fighting their own thing. And they're like inbred is, is also yeah, inbred, yeah. yeah. Because, like, people are playing, like, Gainsay and weird stuff like that. Maybe it wasn't Gainsay. Maybe it was a No, that was, that, no. Was the, that was the Theros format where it was, like, right. mono yeah, blue yeah. devotion versus mono blue devotion versus mono black devotion. But there was, like, a card like that in, in the Cobbled match. I don't remember which it was. It's been too long. I think it's just, I think it's just Rafellos, right. even if we're not. Rafellos seems weird. I guess we have Taiga and Trop. I don't even know if that's good. But nothing else in this pack is really exciting. One of my favorite decks were standard, which is like, it wasn't like super popular. It didn't like make any term results, I don't think. Was the like, do you remember that weird Door to Nothingness deck with like Thrag Tusk and the card that like destroys all permanents? You know what I'm talking about? It's like a red card. It's Bannon Commander, actually. Guy you sound like a crazy person. Oh, it's your daddy. <laughs> it's your daddy. It's your mosquito dad. Also, it turns out, that guy's kind of like fallen out of favor in Commander for some reason. Like you don't Sounds see him as much. Things. You don't see him as much. I will probably never play that format now. It sucks. No. Okay. Let's so take. You misunderstood. <laughs> oh, but play your. You take a card first. Oh, thank you. Opposition's very good though. Yeah, I definitely take it. And we got deranged tournament already as well. So this is actually kind of a not terrible opposition deck. When I say fall out of favor, I mean you don't see it as much. But let me tell you, the other. T- oh, a couple weeks ago, I chaos warp someone into a consecrated sphinx, and it didn't die for like four rotations and i can just give you a guess on who won the game <laughs> was it you no it was the guy that had consecrated sphinx for like oh no, i i cast warp his thing i he got hit. it he hit that and then got none it. of us could ever kill it because he always happened to have a counter spell at the right time but then of course it kept fueling him with counter spells so yeah pretty good card the only problem is it has literally a kill on site like it literally you just have to kill Let's it take this cobra because we have at least two fetches right now Oh, volcanic island, but we're not we're not that color. We're this color. Also, the funny thing is the one the one of the few times we've actually ever played commander like together was a game where I had to concentrate on thinking no one could kill it, and you got real mad. <laughs> Me? Yeah, that sounds like a good time. <laughs> so you saying, sh- saying I didn't like that? You didn't like when you're drawing six cards every rotation? Well, seven if you count your own. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm gonna take this. I'm hoping we can get a black land of some sort before this is before this is over but it's not looking great here i think it's i think that the moment has passed actually oh like here's a sneak attack late into pack three <sighs> sometimes you you're sometimes you're drafting it feels like like the, the packs just aren't lining up and people just are taking nonsense yeah i definitely know you mean. and you're kind of getting punished for it Brandon six is good like it sucks because i feel like in order to like play red cards now I have to give up black cards, which means like Grist is a good engine and, Gr- and Vraska goes really well with mm-hmm. with Oko. Did you ever try Mono White and Eventide? So that was when I started, so I could really only afford like basically one deck and I was playing Mono Red, so no, I did never play Mono White in that format. Yeah, I could have taken Fetch there. For some reason, I was like, well, I don't have friggin... I can't get the Ren and Six, so I don't want the fetch. <sighs> spell Seeker doesn't Who came nothing. first? The Snapcaster the... doesn't even seem great. We have like one spell here. It's literally just Cryptic Command and Factor Fiction, I guess. Who came first, the chicken or the Ren and Six, you know? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, black cleave clay. Look, here's a through the breach to go with our uh to go yeah. with our sneak attack. Oh, here's a gruel signet, another green red land, and then we have no red. To land? Wow. Things are changing these days. Did I say land? Yeah. Fuck you. Whatever, I'll take this stupid through the breach, I guess. God, this deck looks so bad now because we just have no black fixing other than like Sakura Tribal or Lotus Cobra and Rift Sower. <sighs> Maybe we just get there with opposition. I don't know. What's why is this Gristle Brand still doing here? That's un that's unreasonable, man. Is everyone else just literally picking random like just like throwing darts at the board? <laughs> I don't know. This has been a weird draft. I think your deck's still probably okay it sucks but like eh. <laughs> no the only no, problem that's is like, what josh said I'm, oh i was reading i was reading the chat michael okay 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 yeah just take eureka because i don't have any red cards so there's no point in taking spire bluff can i i guess we also have a fellows in the sideboard yeah am i what doing steps not right I, I mean this isn't a step if that's what you're asking Remember that time I sold all my Volcanic Islands for like 200 bucks? I think it was like 300, right? Doesn't matter. The pain is still... So half of one for four? Yeah, it doesn't seem good. <laughs> doesn't seem good, does it? Boy, it's shit, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> it's not very good, is it? Isn't it? Hey, man, can you get them to refund you, give you back the cards, and then I'll pay you that plus a couple dollars, and then I can have them? I mean, you but know... I won't sell them. Wow. So. That sounds really good, actually. Yeah, let's yeah, do that. Yeah, that seems good. I'm going to take Stormcaller out because it seems like it sucks here. I think the only problem with the deck I'm going to take like the deck fair. out because it seems like it sucks here. It's just too fair and you don't have enough counter magic to be. Yeah, you're fair. right. Even though I saw I saw Sneak Attack and Through the Breach, uh, I picked up an Opposition. Don't don't see this is what you, see when you when you turn down the god's gift of Kiki Pestermite, they punish you. <laughs> so like this guy's it's true. I mean if I win, it's gonna be on like treachery, consecrated sphinx opposition. That's the how funny thing is we usually do better with these kind of decks though, right? <laughs> like these weird fair, just random like value decks. Yeah, I mean like we do have Oko Ashiok. You have like a good amount of removal, so yeah, maybe it's not as bad as I think it is. It's probably just as bad. It definitely feels like a like a deck that should be like more of like a not power cube deck like this would be a good deck in like wow two two you know what i mean like a non-powered cube i'm gonna go with three even though well i only have three four black cards whatever it's fine i don't even care anymore um so we have six care. seven eight nine ten eleven four five six seven eight nine so nine eleven yeah let's do that nine eleven <laughs> was it done job. by bush <laughs> <laughs> We're playing this, Legacy Cube today, Yeah, this boys. does feel like a Legacy Cube deck. Yeah, that's about right. Shut up. Do you think about that? That's got to be for a vehicle, right? There's no way it's for anything else. Yeah, it's a TV vehicle. A TV vehicle, if you will. <laughs> Is that like not a mistake? I don't think so. It's like a, it's like their ZX series, so I'm pretty sure. There's a LG Is it as TV big as a house? Like what's 77 the 77 inches? That is actually okay. So that actually makes a little more sense because the once 88 you, inches are 30,000, so well, the funny thing is, actually, once your TVs go above like 60, 65, the prices do go exponentially up because they're just not a normal size. Josh, hurry up. But not that. You're going you're to miss out, bro. Ridiculous. Buddy, I want a Snapcast or a Factor Fiction. You ever done that before? Oh. You okay? Oko with foods and opposition is really broken. Well, it's only creatures, right? Yeah, you can't tap, oh, never you mind. Can't tap artifacts. Okay. You can tap artifacts with it. But I think I think Allen's just means like you could make food and then make tokens, right? But like you also have Oko in play, right? So it's like, 
You can feed the elks your pies, and then they do the job for you. Do the job, elk. Here's here's your pie. I want to play this. Oh, so you know in Oka, they made both his abilities pluses. Weird. That is so weird, dude. And they're just like, yeah, you can just start at six. It's fine. So here's the question. Do we get a second green, so we have two green? Or do we get a third blue? It's third blue. Well, considering your hand is literally all blue spells, I'm going to go with blue. That's cool, bro. What is this going to be? What do you think this is going to be? Something cool or something stupid? Eh, it's going to be something stupid. Your fellows, maybe? Oh, for one? No. Dummy. Yeah. Duh. Excuse me. Still be the fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you added that. I don't know. How, I don't know how many people are gonna know that one, but it's a deep cut. Yeah, because it's like it's from a popular show, but it's it's a show hasn't been on in a while, and that's not a super relevant scene. Like I didn't know about that clip until you showed me. Oh God. Oh, this is gonna. Oh yeah, that's that's what Father likes. Oh, then we get to go Botanical Sanctum Snapcaster or Botanical Sanctum Factor Fiction into Land Snapcaster. Some people are like, man, I really like a drag off a cigarette, but I'm like, you ever counter something with Cryptic Command and draw on the card? <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> That's like smoking a whole pack at once. Just put, you know, those, those pictures <laughs> off. Like, <laughs> like the 100 cigarettes in your mouth. Le oh, oh, look at this weirdo. Let me tell you. So, tell me. I resolved the Sublime Epiphany, that new one card is absolute bananas it's like it's actually better than cryptic command it's pretty good yeah um the only problem is when you don't have a creature yes but if you do it's obnoxious yes dev the dev team admitted that they didn't consider using his elk ability on opponent's stuff they just thought you were going to make your own stuff three threes <laughs> so they're like oh we didn't think you could shut off their gristle brand with it you'd never turn your you want to give them three threes man that's gonna be wild meanwhile they're like have you guys seen anything you've printed in standard? They're all bigger than three threes and do oh, wow. lots of other is things than split? just attack. This is why. <laughs> My dad never went to the corner store for a cryptic command and never came back, though. <laughs> well, I don't know. If it's the Texas floor one. He, I'm yeah, going to choose might be pile one, it. man. Four lands is just too good. I ain't no dummy. Oh. You okay? Oh. You can tap his jar. That's what I'm doing. I don't want them to get no shenanigans. Oh, what up, Joshy? Hall breach. I'm so glad that card's gone. <laughs> card's not okay. It's worse than Commander because it's like, all right, you get nothing, you get nothing, you get nothing. I'll get 21 treasures. And you're like, I'm having a good time. It's literally the worst in Commander. <laughs> it's yeah. just, if, if this is a progenitus, I'm going to be real disappointed. If it's just something stupid like Woodfall Primus, I guess that's fine. The only thing I didn't like about Hall Breacher getting banned in Commander was the idiots that are like, there's no reason, just one room of removal. I'm like, so what do you mean? Like like literally 50% of my deck is removal? Because otherwise you're going to lose. <laughs> like, it has flash. <laughs> Curdy Hoof with two creatures on board? I'll take 10. See you later. I'm not even taking, I'll take seven. I could block this guy, bro. Oh yeah, sure. But still, it's like, I mean, he knows it like loses the buffs and now it's just not as good as your Titan, right? Like, it doesn't really do anything. I guess maybe incentivize you to not tap the jar, but but that jar is getting tapped. You know what to do. Your elf will die. I just kind of want to get it off the board. Yeah. And then we'll just Safer. tap down the stupid crater hoof for the rest of his life. Shame. It's not very good, isn't it? Yeah, so I've only Hall Breachered one time because after doing it, I was like, oh, this card's not for fun in Commander. This card's only for winning, and it's not going to be a good time. Look at this beautiful wall of roots. But yeah, I Hall Breachered once with a um, Windfall, and it was like... You ever Hall Breacher with a Windfall? I was like, wow. This must be what like doing cocaine's like. <laughs> 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 Did you rub the whole bridge around your teeth? <laughs> it for sure ends the game. It's so obnoxious. It's like, people are like, oh yeah, but like you could play, uh, what's the four mana one? The, 
that lets you not uh, you draw cards, but no one else does. It's got flash. It's blue black. What's that card? Blue bl uh, opposition agent. No, no. Uh, notion thief. Notion thief. Yeah. If you're like, yeah, well, you can still play notion thief. I'm like, well, yeah, that's yeah. exactly the same. But notion thief costs one more mana. Doesn't make mana. And also, you have to be in two colors. So it's way, way more restrictive. What else? Oh, and also it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't give you more gas. It doesn't, it doesn't. It, it doesn't gives doesn't you more give cards, you more but it doesn't, doesn't give you the doesn't, mana. It doesn't give you more gas. Oko and, uh, Oko and Nebraska. <laughs> you ever haul breacher with a windfall on weed? <laughs> That's a good ref. Search for tomorrow. But yeah, it never fails me. Like this, hip, this is not just a commander thing, but it's like a thing where people are like, bro, you could just kill it. It's like, okay, sure, yeah. Then it should just not be banned because you can kill it. Oh, yeah. the dies to Doomblade argument. I mean, yeah, you can kill Gristlebrand. Should that guy be legal? Mm -hmm. No. You ever kill a Gristlebrand on weed? <laughs> you ever resolve a Gristlebrand on weed? <laughs> I've never played it or against it. My group is moderately more casual. We do have one player that plays the six mana Teferi Planeswalker, which kind of like the fucking one, the one from like the uh, the intro decks. Oh no cool. no no! They're talking about the one from the commander said that can be your commander. Oh yeah 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 okay. So it turns out if you cast Chainville with that guy out, you just win the game. Oh that's fascinating. Yeah because you, you can just keep using his ability. So right? Josh, are you saying it sucks that he plays them because it's Thanks. good, or are you saying he sucks that it play it sucks. The card sucks, and that like your opponent. No, like, that card is bananas. Oh, really? Oh, the infinite commander Tefer that wins instantly. See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm like the six mana one from like the intro deck, and you guys are like, nah, dude. Wow, no, that's like, really good. He's not as popular these days, but at one point it was like the best competitive deck in the format. Oh, Neon Tokyo Rain with the sub. Thank you, buddy. Who the man? You the man. Although these days, if I ever sat down and someone was playing that commander, I'd instantly go for them. I'd be like, you have to die now, immediately. Because there's only one thing that deck does. Try to go infinite every time. Do you think they're just going to kill us next turn, or do you think they don't have anything? Five, no! Okay, good. I almost uh, have six before making a thing. Also, I never feel bad for targeting a player because of their commander. If it's that kind of commander, because I'm like, buddy... Everyone knows what you're doing. And you're mono blue already, so like, really? No one's ever played a fair mono blue deck. It's never happened. Do I have anything that never. can... What are you hitting? Just that? So if I draw a Sower of Temptation, we might have a chance, is what you're saying? Like, when I occasionally play my Kenrith deck, and everyone targets me, I understand. It's Kenrith. <laughs> I get it. I ain't mad at you. I'm like, no. Like, when... I remember I had one game where someone like didn't know and they're like, oh, I'm going to roll a dice to attack me. And I'm like, no, you should attack me. I'm playing Kenrith. I'm playing five colors. Just attack me. All right. Come on, Sower of Tamtazione. Tamtazione. I don't know if that's even going to do it. Actually, but... I might take apart Kenrith. To build uh, the other five color. What's it called? What's her name? What's her name? The legend. What's her name? She's the old green white legend that lets you search for any legendary, but the newer version that's five color. What's her name? Is it your daddy? Is it Silvola? No, that's the no, that's the green one. Is it Garth? No. It's got a tutor named after it. There's a two mana green white tutor for any creature. Oh uh, yes, Sisse. The new Captain Sisse. The one that's five color. Oh, Staggerly. So you got to play Commander with the right people. Uh, in my game, politics, my game are about, they're not very slow. They're not long. I tend to play with people that are trying to just, let's get in two games, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, bro? We're trying to murder each other. Why are these opening? I'm trying to like, there we go. I like to have a good balance. Like I like the games to be competitive, but not like super broken. Snapcaster. Oh my god, we're just killing it here. No, we're probably dead, right? We're one mana shy. One mana shy, shy. Hush, hush. My favorite commander format is basically 75% commander. 
That's kind of a deep cut, so most people don't know what that means. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, 75% command, commander means, like, 75% of your deck is, like, optimal, and the other 20, 25% is, like, cool stuff you like. So they're not really competitive decks. They're just, like, higher power. Yeah, this is this is the one. Cool. It was mm, not cool. That'll do. This one was cooler. I will put Pestamite back. No. I will put mm, Pestamite back. No. Island back. Okay, that's an area where someone plays an ocarina to get inspiration to build his deck. It's like kind of cool if you can play well, but at the same time, it's a, it's definitely cringe. An ocarina of time. Yeah. Well, you know, without the magic. I don't want to do it without the magic. Fair. Look at this little guy. Oh, Grissy. Oh, what up, little Grissy? Yeah, Josh, I'm the same way. I keep um, kind of like a bunch of decks I play with like the higher power groups, and then I tend to keep like pre-cons or a little better than pre-cons just so I can play with like newer players or people that are trying to have a more lax game. Like your little signet, bro. I actually usually keep two pre-cons together too, just in case. Cobra, land. play land, you get one, two, three, four. Cobra! Hell no, bro. Uh, I create one on black, mill a card. If it's an insect, it won't be. It's never going to happen. When you sacrifice a creature when you do destroy a creature or a planeswalker. I kind of want to kill this, to be honest. And it might be better than just having Cobra out, to be honest. I'm always a fan of murdering things. It's generally. Good way to play magic. Just kill their thing. Sacrifice a creature when you do it, destroy. Sacrifice a creature. Yes. <laughs> what are you willing to sacrifice? Apparently one snake boy. I mean, it's literally just Lotus Cobra for a draw a tree spear, which I think is a totally fine trade when it cuts them off of at least two manus. Staggerly, you got to get on spell table, bruh. I play Paper Commander all the time via webcam. It's great. Oh, we hit an island and... You can even play with me. Wait, what else did we hit? Is it mill one? Oh, it's mill a card. That's better than what I thought it was, actually. What do you think it was? I thought it was mill two cards. Oh. But you know what's cool? That'd be worse for this game, but better for most other games. Making three threes every turn. Plus, plus. This is a good combination. Why would your girlfriend care if you played Magic on one can as opposed to going to a store? It's the same amount of time. It's just, you don't have to go anywhere. I'm going to be honest, man. I feel like people in relationships like that where those significant others judge them and like... For playing Magic. And yeah. have a negative opinion of them for interacting with their friends. Like, those, those seem super unhealthy to me. <sighs> Unless you think like you'll play so much that you'll ignore, then that's, that's not cool. But that's a different thing. Right. But then you guys don't have like time set aside. Like Katie was like, we were watching a show and I'm like, you guys, you want to watch another episode? And Katie's like, no, I kind of want to play some Overwatch. And I was like, okay, cool. Knock yourself out. You know? Sure. Yeah. That's a, if you, if you like do it too much. Yeah, sure. Yeah, like, but I mean, like, the, a nerd is, I feel like a nerd isn't even, like, a negative thing. Like, it's, dude, Marvel movies have been, like, box office hits for, like, 11 years now. It's, like, not, it's nothing new. And, like, Post Malone literally plays Commander. So, <laughs> he's literally on a Commander World Tour right now. <laughs> yeah. I actually had, a, like, I if I really wanted to, there's a really strong chance I could literally play Commander with that dude. I'm but sure we could find Utah. a way, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure we could make that happen. Let's make... With the Frank Lepore bump, I'm sure. You know? Obviously, he knows who I am. Posty follows me, obviously. That'd be cool if he did. 
Uh, he might, I mean, he might actually know who you are. I have, I have my doubts. You may sack a creature. So I'm really tempted to just kill this. Can we do that without without doing this? That we we play, we make a guy. Maybe even make Rafelos a three three. We have three three threes. They have to double block here, and we put Nissa to one. I mean, Is it's it cool that she's not in a nerd thing. There's nothing wrong with that. But like, you shouldn't. It's just weird that she denies you having your nerd time, unless again it's something where you do it too often. But I mean, you do you, man. But like. Just tell her you're making a studio of them. And then it's funny because it's like, it's the equivalent of like, if your girlfriend is a huge volleyball, a beach volleyball fan or like a player, right? She loves playing beach, beach volleyball. And like, she's like, Hey, I'm going to join a beach volleyball club. And she's like, if she's talking to her friends and she's like, you know how much shit my boyfriend would give me for joining a beach volleyball club? Like, I don't, I feel like that's just a bad position to be in. Oh, she would never down me for it or treat me poorly. She would just give me a hard time. Well, that's different. Like, like she would just troll you, is what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, that's... that's in which case... I'm so, yeah, there's a misunderstanding. Land. That's fine. Attack, attack, attack. They get two blocks. They can block here, block here. I, just, I feel like I could just... I don't want to get rid of the grist, though, I guess. Yeah, just to clarify, when you said it the other way, it kind of sounded like she was, like, not letting you play magic. So, you misinterpreted right. it, which is totally different. Yeah, man, if you're serious, I literally, like, my tables are open, bro. I'll invite you. You got to have, like, a webcam set up, but those are super cheap and easy. If you're ever into that. I kind of feel like getting rid of the grist is good, but I really don't know if I'm ready to do it. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Lumbering. Which room takes up? How many cards do you have? When you say, like, a serious collection, you mean, like, how big we talking, bro? They don't have enough forests to really make this pop, I don't think. Pop, pop. Over 30,000 cards. Yeah, that's a good amount. That is more than I have, for sure. Attack all of Nissa and see what happens here. I mean, they have to lose both of these guys to keep the Nissa. I have a good amount of expensive stuff, but I'm pretty sure my collection's like just over 2,000 cards, probably. Maybe. So Nessa goes to one here. And we'll create a gentleman. All right. So next time we do get to activate oh. Grist, and I guess if they. Oh, they're just going to do some shenanigans here. One, two, six, seven, eight. <sighs> Sometimes you just feel like you should kill the Nissa. Yep. Cool. Well, that sucks. Sure does. It's like, and they couldn't have cast it. They couldn't have fucking tapped their mana faster. Unfucking real. Stupid the fucking game. So fucking frustrating, dude. Zagger, if if they're uncommons and commons, unless they're super old, they're probably not worth anything. I was thinking, I'm like playing around. Eldrazi because that's what we've seen so I'm like okay cool no Eldrazi I don't care if you have crater hoof here because you're gonna have to tap all of your creatures for it so I'll just like take 10 or whatever but I mean based on the knowledge you probably still made the right play so I guess it doesn't feel good though no it feels like shit because I really don't think their deck is that great so What did you do to have for dinner? <laughs> I made some. Oh, cool. I love this. This is actually a really sweet. Uh, blue, blue. It's a really pretty hand. Yeah, so. it's a really sweet five lands opposition hand. I made some burgers on the grill. Me and Katie had those and some French fries. And Frank made some pasta. Yeah, you ever feel like it's just like not your night for. Yep, here we go. It's yeah, not it's your night. For, I don't know. Like sometimes, like the drafts just don't go your way. Like none of them do, and it's just a, it's just the way it is.
It's getting late, y'all. We'll start, bro. I think you know what a story is. I don't think you know anything. Mike made burgers and Frank made the gabagool. <laughs> Gabagool's not pasta. God, you don't know anything. If you make gabagool, that'd be a long process involving several months because it's a cured meat. What's it cured of? Duck flavor. Oh. Good old suck flavor. Here comes a Legion. You ready for Legion War Boss? Oh, they just plussed and... Man, look at this. No fucking cards to play. This is insane. I'm just not even like... It's not fun. Cool, dude. I made the Ike sandwich. Like, what is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 12 cards that I could have played by turn 3. 12. That's literally over 25% of my deck. Nothing. It's unfucking real. Josh, that's not a typo. What's the Ike sandwich? Michael, you don't know anything. That's why I asked. The only way to gain knowledge of something you don't know about is to ask. Bet. Whether it's a person or the internet. Bet. Michael, just bet, okay? Oh, just like a local place and you're trying to entertain their sandwich. Got it. What's a consistent? What's in it? Sell me on the Ike sandwich. Don't sell them on it. Don't worry, it'll be very easy. <laughs> I like sandwiches. I mean, you ever had a sandwich? I don't Incredible. think so. Are they good? Uh, yeah, this is a keeper. Got an island here. Got a volcanic here. We're doing it. Oh, what's this meatball? It's disgusting. Mike, do you have the recipe for your mom's Caesar salad? That that's a like, deep cut. So you've obviously been around a lot, but oh, yeah, damn, I do dude. actually. Yeah, that is a. For deep those who cut, don't know, dude. my mom makes an amazing Caesar salad, like from scratch dressing. It's really good. What's scratch dressing? It's where you gotta you gotta scratch. <laughs> I don't. I, don't, I got Michael, no if your mom wants to make Caesar salad dressing from scratch, she has to create the universe. Stupid. I mean. In one way, that's correct. A toasted cheese right now. That's how That's how you know Zombub is not in America. Is that like it? So that's a grilled cheese, right? It's a grilled okay. cheese, yeah. But he's right. That does sound good. Now, Croc Monster, that's a really fancy grilled cheese. Those are banging. I probably mispronounced it terribly. Yeah, but. it's Croak Monsieur, but you're close enough. Well, there's also another Croak, but I was thinking it was that pronunciation. There's a different version. So of many it. Croaks. I think there are like three or four varieties. You ever gone to the grocery store Croakers? <laughs> <laughs> be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> it would. It would be a lot cooler if you went there. I'll just play Grist here if you want to counter my Gristy. Grist Malone. Look at that bug. Oh, I, I flipped an island. Or did the island flip you? Croak Monsieur. Oh. Yeah, Croak Monsieur. That's right. You know, I always look at Gris. I'm like, there's probably not enough insects to make a deck, right? But then I'm like, that's probably not true. I mean, it's 20 years of insects. Wow, there's hard casting light up the stage. Oh, well, there goes your little engine. The little engine that could. I don't know, man. Monte Cristo's are pretty banging. You know what I love? The Turkey O'Toole. Would you like to know what that is? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm dying to know. Do you not know? No. It was a sandwich that was served at Bennigan's. I think we've been over this once, but and it was delicious. Explain, explain it was what a it was. turkey sandwich okay. with Swiss cheese and honey mustard uh -huh. on a pretzel roll. I see if we can find it. That's it? Yeah, it was just fucking delicious. Just like, but but banging ingredients, like real good honey mustard. Yeah, and the turkey was good. Rip Bennigan's. Yeah, this is, look at this, look at this. Oh, that doesn't, that's not it. That though. picture doesn't really do right, it justice. It it's not it's, really. It's None of them are like doing it justice, but like, oh. look, here's a battle. The Monte Cristo versus the Turkey O'Toole. 
I'll take your word for it because I know you appreciate a good turkey sandwich. It was so good, dude. I forgot about that. Dude, Bennigan's, I loved Bennigan's, man. I did too. Okay, it's not a contest, Michael. <laughs> I loved it too. No, I'm just saying I remember it, but then it just went away one day and I was sad. It went away one day. Goodbye, Bennigan's. Don't be cryptic. Lotus Cobra, I don't care about you. Oh. Let's get rid of this insecto. Wait, Josh. Oh, the local place is like a six out of ten. Wish I wish I played that instead. Is there a Carabas near you? Yeah, there is. I love Carabas. Carabas is one of my like. It's one of my go-to like comfort chains. Benigas is coming back. Look it up. What? Oh shit! You might be tooling, bro. Oh my god! But then it's only if it comes back here, I guess. But I'll petition him. I'll be like, Yo, Benigas, come to my state. Benigas. There's like two locations. What are your locations? It'll, oh, there's, uh, there's one in Melbourne, Florida. Cool. There's like wherever that is. Two, three, four in Iowa? That's weird. It's closer than Florida if you want to go. <laughs> oh, they got international you ones. Got a, you got, we can go to the Bahrain locations. Yeah, we could. Best sandwich equals hot dog. Depends on if you think it's a sandwich. Someone's gonna have to time show enough out. We don't we don't condone that kind of talk in here, so I mean hot dogs are pretty good. So the best sandwich, if you're considering their sandwiches, nah. Sunday chicken Sunday. Diamond Dave's. Never heard of it. I used to like Shoney's because I love salad bars. I'm a dude who loves a salad barzel. Rest in peace, sweet tomatoes. I did it wrong because I don't actually know how to do that because I'm not into that. But. Loses like you have creature cards in your graveyard, so they would lose two. That's actually pretty good. They're basically dead. I don't understand how they went. Wait, oh, that's wait, insane. Does that read each opponent? Yeah, each opponent loses life. Michael, you could equal to the number of creature cards in your grave. Yeah, so you could just this is a this is a commander card for sure, bro. Well, I know, but I I've never actually really read it. This card seems pretty bananas. Well, I guess I know I could use my commander as a black green deck. Tell me more. That's about it. Like, does your commander own a car? I mean, I think Kenrith probably does. He's a king or whatever. They're not doing anything, and that's kind of sad. I think the best we're going to get around here is Spoons, which, yeah, it's good enough. Spoons is good, but it's not. I wonder if in person they, they had a they had a bar. Can I all you can eat it? They had a bar. <laughs> Jason's salad bar. Jason's Jason Deli is Deli. also good. Yeah. Oh, there's a Jason's Deli here. We can yeah, do but do I really want to go to a fucking salad bar? While well, no, I, meant in, I didn't mean now. I meant in the future. Well, it's never, we're never, there's never going to be a future where salad bars are happening again. I'm sorry. I just don't have enough faith in the intelligence of the American population. Yeah. Me neither. It's sad, really. I don't want to get into it, but it's actually sorry if really that depressing. was too political for y'all. Oh man, rest in peace, sweet tomatoes. God, I miss sweet. Yeah, I'm so sad. It was so good. So I like the like sweet tomatoes was like COVID hit, and sweet tomatoes was like, well, good game, closing up shops, and we're like, fuck, really, all of you? I mean, it wasn't that big of a chain. Plus, yeah, I mean that that's they have no way to do business. Texas style barbecue called Back Forty. I do love, so here's the funny thing. I'm a person who doesn't eat a lot of meat, but I love barbecue restaurants. And the reason is because usually the barbecue chicken or turkey, which I'll eat, is is good. And I love barbecue sauces. I'm a fiend for condiments. And it I really love is. barbecue sides. So if I can just get a bunch of banging sides, some barbecue sauces, and some like chicken or turkey, I'm like good to go. I mean, don't sell shorter than chicken and turkey, man. A good barbecue place, that smoked chicken right, and turkey is really like, good. But my point is that like, I'm, my, I'm very limited on my, oh, my sure. options when it comes to like the central tenant of barbecuing, which is like big meats. Oh, yeah, big meats. But, like, what do you want? Brisket? Ribs? Pulled pork? It's, you know, like, what, I'm like... Those are the other do, three do options. Guys have any, do you guys have any turkey? You know, so it's like I'm just... I'm kind of a... I'm an outlier. Outlier. Yeah, but if I went to a place and they didn't have like... Smoke turkey, I'd be like, this is sus. I'm out. It is It is kind of a... It's, it's a staple. Look at that bug, man. You ever seen a bug before? Yeah, they're pretty cool. 
Well, unless it's a wash, then I'm I'm out. Michael was a rolling bug. He was a little bug in a bug. And when Michael died. What's that? They have seven cards in their hand. They're probably going to storm us out somehow. Hey Josh, we're over in California. Yeah, we'll definitely hit you up for sure, my dude. It's true. I don't have any plans to currently go there right now. But we can make it a thing. Five, six. Oh, that just resolved. So that's kind of cool. Glory hole food truck? What? Did I miss something? I said. <laughs> oh, in Iowa, there's a food truck that's a hot dog's glory hole truck? I have a lot of questions. <laughs> Does this mean they just serve you a hot dog through a little hole? Is that the joke? Michael, don't act like you're unfamiliar <laughs> with how glory holes work. Come on, we all know your secrets. <laughs> you're a fucking pervert. Well, you just describe them, so you know what they are. Everyone, everyone in this chat knows what they are. Okay, mm -hmm. there's no one innocent on the internet these days mm -hmm. anymore. It's never happened. Mm -hmm. That seems like a weird gimmick, right? But I mean, I guess if they have a good hot dog, snap pulse the mountain. Unfortunately, that is not how Maelstrom Pulse works. That is not a a valid strategy. Oh, look at this. if Maelstrom Pulse could target lands. That card it's just would be vindicate. It's literally just better vindicate at that point. It would have to be banned instantly. Uh, kill your island. Also, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, because you like name island or you like target island, and like, uh, okay, so uh, each other permanent with the same name. Okay, so kill your island. Uh, okay, sure, you got it. Maybe we're not dead. They only have four cards. What could they possibly be? I mean, I definitely should have kept Island up because then we could have Cryptic Commanded if they if they spin the wheel. Okay, they have three cards left. You ready? Thousand Year Storm Lightning Bolt is 20 times. I, this is like, we're just like... We're definitely o dead, for sure. We're back-to-back -back O3s here, unfortunately, so... And I have two Planeswalkers, one on seven, one on ten. I just uh, scratched my belly and lifted up my shirt without really realizing it. Luckily, it was under the camera line. And someone so. Oh, dang so, it. So, yeah, sorry. Someone can't clip it, it. It definitely, I wasn't thinking it totally would have happened on camera. It was just a reaction. Is this going to... Mike, is it hot enough in Colorado to warrant sleeping in the nude? No, we got air conditioning. I don't think we have an Eldrazi in here, so... They might just kill us, I guess. I do often sleep in just my boxers. That's pretty close. Whatever, pervert. Buddy. I feel like that's pretty common. Wonder if there's anything we can do here. I'm not feeling Hope good about whiffs. it. Hope he That is our only plan. <laughs> not mm. a good out. It's usually not good enough. It's kind of like the, maybe he just won't attack me for lethal. It's the same thing. High tide, huh? God, fucking one island, and I feel like would actually be. So this would be like one, two, three, four, five. What are they doing? Just kill us. And I'm going to know this. I mean. Wait. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Why are they wasting our time? I don't know. I was confused, and I'm like, oh, yeah, there's a brain freeze in the yard and passive flame, so it's going. They're memeing, I guess. Nope. Nope. You also just hit F6, right? No, man. Stupid. Well, see, the thing is, you can play it around that they mess up, but if they're wasting your time by doing that, then you're actually wasting your own time by not F6ing, because they can't really get you. At least. I don't know. Did someone translate what Michael just said? Because I think he had an aneurysm and he tried to pass off his aneurysm as communication. Is that aneurysm the name of your little cousin? Yeah, that's my cousin aneurysm. <laughs> we call him Annie. My little cousin Annie. Little Annie. He hates sand. <laughs> it gets everywhere. Oh, well, you know. All right. You got it. Yeah, Michael, save your shirt lifting for the OnlyFans, buddy. Well, you got to give them a tease to get them to join, you know? They're going to Ulamog here? Why? Are, what are we doing? Just like... 
Sure, you got it. And for my next trick. They might not brain freeze because they might think we have they're gonna they got a brain freeze. They might think what we, we have, have? Like Eldrazi. Eldrazi, multiple Eldrazi. I mean, I guess. Okay. Do we have an Eldrazi? I mean, but they could do that before they do the other stuff to see if we have an Eldrazi, right? Who knows? I mean, no, no. Maybe we do got one Eldrazi. Wouldn't that be cool? It's not there. Hold on. Okay, we didn't have it. Not going to lie, me and my girl have an cool. OnlyFans and it pays our rent. Nothing wrong with that. Huh. Well. Yeah. If you can make a living off it, knock yourself out, man. Not even a living, but like if you can just supplement your income, like. How have you been feeling about this iteration of the cube? I, for some reason, I'm not. Yeah, there's some cards that I'm just like, no, nah, I don't like this. I never understood why people think it's like controversial. I guess I get it because it's like an untraditional thing, but like. Michael, because of Jesus. That guy's a jerk. Wow. Did you just Actually, say... no, his father's a jerk. <laughs> well, I think he's, if he existed, he was probably pretty cool, but his dad, super mean, not a good guy. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest, his dad is kind of a jerk. Super jerk. Oh, cool. Cool. This is the reason I kept the hand, so that's good. That checks out. Lumbering Falls. Gary. Gary. I suspect your girlfriend is hot, so good on you. <laughs> that's funny. Josh is a funny guy. Do you think one day there'll be enough prints of different Garooks that you can make a commander deck that's all Garooks? Like just all Yeah, Garooks. it's called Oops, Oops All Garooks. <laughs> it's like 30-some lands and just Garooks. I mean, to be fair, there might be a deck that's possible with Garrick and Garrick cards, like Garrick's Harbinger and stuff like that. Yeah, his little friend that draws you cards. Yeah, his little, his little card friend. I know that guy. I can't remember the name, which is sad because it's literally any commander deck that I play, but... No, it's not Companion. That's the shitty, like, three drop. It's the one that draws you cards when you play Fat Boys. I don't remember. Fat Boys. Anything with over four power, I think. Let me guess. You shoot this guy with, like, a shitty two man, a man, one man burn spell. Fire, fire bolt. Shitty fire, fire man. bolt. Here it is. Ready? Oh. Holocon's command. Oh. Cool, dude. See, you thought it was just going to be removal. It's going to be double removal. Dummy. Gotti. He did got him. Man, what was I thinking? I mean, Garrick's going to die either way, so I might as well just kill the stupid snake man. Snake man? You either kill it now or live to see more snakes, you know? <laughs> yeah, either. <laughs> or live to see yourself become the snake. <laughs> what? No idea. Oh, cool. that's fun. That is fun. I'm having I like a good when my time. spells cost one more. Yeah, these oh. matches have been bl a blast. Super cool. From our opponent having to have Garrick to our other opponent brain freezing us. Like this guy's deck isn't even that good. He's just like, I duress into two efficient creatures. You're dead. Yeah, <laughs> like, but I mean, like, I don't know if our deck's enough. any good either, I guess. So what are you going to do, man? You're slow, I guess. Uh, Let's bring, I was going to say Nature's Claim, but that was either deck. So yeah, nothing great in our side, dude. So let's just, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's just run it back. Uh, yeah, this is this is probably the best hand we've had. We just have to hit a third land, so fingers crossed. Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. And then when he died, Michael B. This is, <laughs> it's a weird bit. Weird ending. Cool. Super cool. How was uh, that card? Unholy heat. heat, it's a Modern Horizons 2 card. Wow. That's pretty good. Like, how can you be an efficient commander player if you don't even know cards? But do you think anyone plays Shocks in Commander? I do. You'd be wrong. Yeah, you're probably right, actually. <laughs> even Lightning Bolt sees what was like... That? What was that, deal 2 damage? Oh, cool. Even Lightning Bolt barely makes the cut, and even then, usually most people don't play Bolt. It's not good enough. You just play Braid. because it can. But they know it exists. You know no. what I mean? Yeah, cool. Draw your two cards. Also, buddy, I'll be honest. You know why I don't know that card exists? Stop calling me buddy, Michael. I'm not your buddy, pal. 
Oh, no, it's not, it's not true. I am your buddy. I'm going to say this is a weird situation if you're not. Why am I here just to suffer every night I can remember my leg? Anyway, um, <laughs> I'll quote that meme for you. What the fuck is that from? It's a meme, but also a Metal Gear Solid reference. <laughs> Every night I can remember well, my cause leg. It's, it's a ridiculous quote that like is just funny on its own. That happens to be from Metal Gear Solid Five. But the, probably the reason I don't know that card is because like they just keep they can't stop printing sense every every, every week. Stop I think printing sense. <laughs> every week I'm pretty sure there's a new set every week, as far as I know. It's hard to keep up. Let's hope that we draw a deranged tournament. And then we just crush him. Gonti, you got it. I'm sure he'll get the best card possible and he'll use it to kill us with our own. He'll hoist us by our own petard. You'd like that, wouldn't you? I mean, I wouldn't like it, but it's going to happen for see sure. This, let me see what this clip is, bro. I love you. <laughs> I couldn't even say it without laughing. I couldn't say it without laughing, Michael. You know why? Why? Because I hate you. Hmm. Did you know that? He says it, but he's a big softy. Let's steal this guy, play Rafellos, make an Iroko. Oh, oh, I like stealing. Oh, we just win the game. Cool. He's like, yep, I've seen enough. You're going to take my guy for free. You got an Oko. It's not going to work out. <laughs> you know what? Not really feeling it, I'll be honest with you. All right, we can we can one more game it. One more game it. One more time. That's funny that that's where you went with it because I was thinking of one more game. Give me just a one oh, more okay. game. I can't wait for Michael B. <laughs> is it weird? Is treachery expensive now? I bet it it's is. Five right? mana. It's always five mana. No, you, you can't I mean, change the cost. I mean the really price of the card board. Uh, I think it's like it, fifty to sixty. Let's check. Well, that's actually what it's always kind of been, so that's not really... Well, it's not like seeing play in formats, you know, like... Yeah, I also don't see it in Commander often. Yeah, 48.95, 50 to 60. Huh. Also, it's... Is that reserveless? Yeah, it's reserveless, right? Uh, or, you no? don't see him reprinting it, do you, Michael? Well, Lightly it? played 56. I was almost... I was almost exactly... I'll give you a nail it on that. Oh, Michael's going to give me a nailed it, huh? All right, and... I wonder why it sees less playing commander now. Because stealing one creature isn't effective the same way a two damage isn't, buddy. Mm. Not so sure about that one. But you don't know. I mean, no, no. Or maybe it does have is is like the thing where like people are playing less steel effects because they're more awkward over what can. Like that. That's really cool. One. Two, three, four. I think we're just playing island here. Now we want to block her. We're going to go block here. Yeah, so let's play this. Add a black. Crack it. Troparino. Crack it. Uh, blue. Asherino. Give me your guy. Oh, wow. Three hits. Lodestone, Zealous, and Porcelain. That's pretty sweet. That's what's known as a sweetie boy. <laughs> it's not. In the industry. <laughs> no one knows what that term in is, the but game us. game industry. Don't know where it came from. Makes no sense. See your little sweetie boy. Oh, that's a good clip. That was a good one. Boy. Hey, buddy. You like ash yug? I'll give you an ash yug for two nickels. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good clip. Man, Affinity, I'm so glad you're still here. I'll blog this guy. He's old blood now. Gang, I'm going to steal this stupid idiot. You ready? Are you ready? I can't. Do I just put one of these into play? Oh, maybe. Maybe we go treachery into lodestone golem. Thank you. I like that. I like a lot. Okay, we just win the game. One, two. We salvaged it. I know a drunk. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really, really appreciate it. You are awesome. I love you. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like buttons, the subscribe buttons. Follow on Twitch, on YouTube. Do whatever you got to do. I'll see you next time. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Really appreciate you.